Hi, I'm PSP Hacker 2 and through in here, and I am doing a review on a new video game I got. Maybe you've heard of it. If you haven't, well then, uh, I don't even know who the fuck you are, and uh, you should definitely buy this game, regardless of whether or not you're a Final Fantasy fan. So, anyways, the name of the game is Final Fantasy Dissidia, and it was released today, the 25th of August. Here's uh, proof that I bought it. I don't know if you can see that very well. Probably not, so forget about this. See. Okay, so now to the game. Ah, uh, oops. This is the game itself. Final Fantasy City, only for the PSP. And the front shows all the main protagonists of the video game. The back shows screenshots and a really cool CGI artwork that says at the top, what will you fight for? Now, something I've also noticed while opening the game that was very, very awesome was the inside. You notice the inside has screenshots. The inside is the same CGI artwork. The, uh, the inside has uh, black characters, you know, not black, but black background with the antagonists, and uh, yeah, I guess you can switch that around to have a couple times, and it's pretty cool. Okay, um, the game also came with this uh, really awesome soundtrack. Uh, to the game, which I'm not going to open up because I consider this a collector's item. And being one of the biggest Final Fantasy fans on the planet, I just can't do that. So anyways, the game itself features um, all the main antagonists and protagonists of the game, plus a couple extras, uh, Shantoto from Final Fantasy XI and um, Gabrantz from Final Fantasy XII. And they're all playable characters. You have to buy all the evil characters, sadly. And I believe you unlock Shantoto. I cannot remember because I used to have the Japanese version. Um. So I guess that's it for that. Let's get on to gameplay. Okay, I was already in the game. Um. I guess I'll have to start this battle. Now this battle is cloud against the dame. Um, while pressing the circle button it does what is called a, um, gosh, I can't remember what name it is, um, some kind of attack, uh, it, it raises your attack power rather than hitting them and da doing damage. Then square, if I can pull it off, was called an HP attack, and it drains their HP by using the attack power that you've collected. And maybe I can do it in this battle, but um, you get these cool little bells, and as you can see on the side here, there is um, a little meter, and the little meter on um, basically you raise that up and you can go into EX mode and do all kinds of cool specials. Pretty sweet. Let's see. Yeah, I just did a break. Let's raise my uh, attack power quite a bit. Okay, I'm trying to get my ass kicked here. Okay, I use the L button to select the spell. Now I can go into EX mode. Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, I just this one the ES mode, and you can see clouds, uh, Neo Omni Slash, or just Omni Slash, I'm not sure what you want to call it. And I just won a battle.
and Cloud got that cool sword there. I'm gonna return to the start menu because I want to show you some stuff. Okay, basically, you got your story mode, which has the uh, has the, the prologue you get uh, with the Warrior of Light, Destiny Odysseys, which are basically their story modes for a uh, Warrior of Light. Uh, I like calling him free, you know, but his English name is uh, Furion for the Onion Knight, or Cecil for Foot, for Terra, for Cloud, Squall, Zanane, and Tidus, and you can unlock a couple extras in the story mode. Um, you have your arcade mode, your quick battle, which is what I just did, communication mode, basically online against your friends. Um, Get your PP catalog. I don't know what PP stands for, but I just know that it uh, basically you can buy stuff with the extra characters like Garland, etc., and Alchemicia and whatnot. Other stuff in there, voices, alternative costumes, etc. You got your museum. It's pretty sweet. You got your player settings and your options. And this is what the title screen looks like. And that install, I'm not sure what that does. First time I clicked on it. Okay, I really don't know what that is. Um. I guess that's it, uh, that's all I got to show you, um, if you were lucky enough to get this game, kudos to you, but uh, I am pretty damn lucky to get this game myself, and therefore, um, it is an excellent game, I give it a 5 star because, well I guess generally any game, regardless of how good it is, I give it a 5 star because it's a Final Fantasy. Um, also, if you did reserve this with GameStop, it got some special like light and dark case. I'm not sure what that was all about. I heard rumors that it was just an empty plastic case. Guess not much going there. Um, I guess that's it. PSP Hacker 2 and 3 1 signing out. This has been a review.